What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. And what we've got going on is a massive mile long trench defense by 33,000 German soldiers against 3 million American soldiers. So all of these soldiers within the actual trenches themselves here, although some are kind of on the outside, these are all just standard German soldiers. But then every German soldier that is inside one of these bunkers is a MG42 soldier. And then the soldiers in the back lines here are the sniper soldiers who can do collateral damage and have extreme range against enemies. As you can see, many of these guys are already dropping down. Now the US does have a number of assault troopers as well as shotgun troopers going for them. The shotguns are obviously going to be for when they can actually get into the trenches themselves. I think that will be uh, pretty dope <laughs> to be honest. Oh my god, look at this. The MG42 is inside these bunkers. Sadly, we can't go inside of them or else you clip above. Oh wait, can you? Nope. You, you clip above weirdly. Uh, <laughs> they're already shredded. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily here and real quick before this video begins, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Fan Home. Fan Home is an amazing subscription service where every single month they will send you unique themed items from a variety of different partners that they have partnered with, uh, such as Marvel, Star Wars, and so much more. They were kind enough to send me the R2-D2 build, which was so incredible. Every single month they would send me more parts which I added to my R2-D2 life-size build. And not only that, you would also get special gifts every so often, such as a massive decal cutout of Darth Vader that I have on my wall, as well as posters, accessories, clothes. It was such a surprise every time something came in the mail. It was super fun. Right now, you can go in the description below and subscribe to Fan Home and start receiving amazing themed gifts every single month. You can go ahead and build all sorts of different model kits. I highly recommend the R2-D2 one because that's what I did myself. But you could also check out what they have in terms of Marvel and Knight Rider, all sorts of different things. If you have an IP that you love, they will likely have it. Go down to the link in the description below. Check out Fan Home. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for listening to the ad. Holy cow, the US just destroyed them. In a matter of seconds right there. Alright, so the MG42s are not going to be the saving grace of this battle. Maybe on this side? Can we go in this bunker? No! Come on! Let us... Oh, wait. Hey, we got in there! Let's go, boys! Yeah! Alright, we can watch these MG42s rattling off some shots. They're taking a little bit of damage uh, throughout this thing, but not that much. They're kind of chilling. Not bad. Good for you blokes. Keep it up, boys! Uh, meanwhile, the trench line on the far left here is also firing out. Oh, yeah, and there's one more little MG42 bunker right here. And these guys are all getting slaughtered by incoming U.S. fire. The U.S. has killed 1,300 German soldiers of their 30,000. But the Germans have killed 645,000! 645,000 U.S. soldiers already. And that really is a testament to the, the snipers. The German snipers are super duper powerful and they're able to just shoot these uh, American soldiers before they even get close to the trenches. However, the idea is that the US will be able to overwhelm them uh, with just their millions of soldiers coming forward here and eventually get the victory. And I will say, I did you know, do a little test run of this battle. I did not finish it, but it ends up getting pretty close, at least the test run that I ended up doing. So it is entirely possible that these German trenches are going to be able to make it happen. It's very, very possible. Right now, the troopers on the outside of the trenches are getting kind of slaughtered right now, uh, which is allowing the US to start to rapidly gain kills. Uh, this lack of cover for these guys is not great, but then as you go lower down, they do actually get some cover. Those guys are gonna live definitely a whole lot longer than the boys just way up at the top, especially these guys all the way up on this little hill. Not only are you not in the trench, you're in an arguably worse position than being on flat ground, so not the most swell thing right there. <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's these troopers over here. Um, there's a, a small offshoot that was in this trench, and it looks like these guys all got slaughtered. So now we got U.S. soldiers moving through the trenches and actually taking over them. And now being able to fire over the trenches 
at the German trenches across the way. That's actually kind of fun right there. I, I like that a lot. So the U.S. soldiers do have 8,000 kills now. There's 25,000 Germans remaining. And the Germans have 1.1 million kills on the U.S., leaving about 2 million U.S. soldiers remaining. Uh, the U.S. is just rapidly increasing their kills, though, especially, I think, because of this little flank rooney over here, which, look at these guys. They're just getting shot down left and right, front and center, everything. It's absolutely brutal for those fellas, so... That is not going to be the place where the massive holdout ends up happening uh, that could possibly get the Germans a victory here. Uh, we've also got Germans on this little barbed wire station over this way, um, hanging out in the back lines of the trench, and they're getting pretty badly slaughtered as well. Uh, so much of the German defense on the exterior of the trenches aren't really doing too hot. And look, you can see actually the American soldiers are getting awfully close to those Germans as well. Uh, the snipers for the Germans also, uh, you know, taking some losses now. Once this, uh, you know, super duper well-trained range unit uh, starts to really go down, uh, then the Germans will, oh, they'll be in really, really bad trouble. The U.S. seems to have taken over this trench line over here and is now moving further in uh, this area, trying to take out the rest of the trench line, doing a bit of a flanking side sweep. Germans inside of the trenches, though. Uh, should have a lot of good decent cover to fire from uh, and they have got those car 98 K's So actually at range even the standard German units are just super duper powerful. Um, I have a feeling probably that last German bunker is all dead um, Yeah <laughs> Those guys did not end up living for too long. They're not living like Larry over there um, So yeah, all of the mg 42s for the Germans are now dead um, I'm assuming the mg 42s probably didn't do too much since they died way quicker in this battle than I ever thought they would have, so, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think they ended up doing all too hot during this whole thing. Either way, why don't we go ahead and do a little time lapse of the trench line here, uh, you know, while we still got uh, some serious numbers left alive on the battlefield. There's 1.34 million U.S. troopers dead and 15,000 Germans dead. Let's begin the time lapse. Alright, so I don't think that time lapse ended up being all that cool because uh, it's really a trickle in actually of US soldiers at the moment. Um, I think we're getting bottlenecks back here. Yep, my hunch is correct. We get these bottlenecks uh, because I've, uh, as I've explained in uh, previous battles, um, there's only certain areas you can actually cross over these trenches. So it's resulting in basically just one massive, continuous, endless trench charge from the US soldiers, um, which the snipers of the Germans seem to be able to handle for the most part right now. The snipers are getting eaten into a good bit, uh, but they see, still seem very, very capable of uh, taking out any of these loose chargers, as well as uh, the German soldiers uh, who are just above the trenches here who are still alive. They're taking a few losses here, um, but they're managing to slow down the tide of US soldiers coming out as well. So really, it's a war of attrition right now for both sides. Uh, if the Germans can slowly but surely whittle down the US, they'll end up winning this thing. If the US uh, manages to slowly but surely whittle down the Germans, which is something that they are doing currently, they'll end up winning this thing. And this is where it becomes a very even match, uh, and it'll be difficult to see who's actually going to end up being the winner of this thing until all is said and done, um, which probably won't be for a little while. But we do have, actually, this is pretty cool, U.S. soldiers coming up over the tops of some of these trenches and firing downwards at the German soldiers, uh, and the Germans are able to quickly fire back upwards uh, before they themselves get killed. This is really cool. This is the kind of trench warfare we wanted to be seeing in these battles. So this is actually pretty sick uh, to actually have it happening here. I think this would actually make up for a lot better of a time lapse uh, than the previous time lapse we had. So let's go ahead and do a time lapse of this, watching US soldiers come up over the top, fire downwards, and get shot dead by the Germans below who are having to deal with shots themselves. So let's go ahead and get into it, baby.
All right, so that was actually a half an hour, and uh, this is the result. A little trail of bodies going all the way back here. Genuinely, without these snipers, uh, which I'd say the snipers have definitely suffered some losses during this, uh, but without the snipers, this trench defense would not work at all. Not in the slightest. These trench defenders would get absolutely slaughtered. Um, and as of right now, I mean, there's not that many U.S. soldiers left, about 200,000, and like all of them are back here because they're all stuck back there, and they're just trickling in. So what I think we should try is the same battle, but without the snipers, just to see what happens here. Honestly, nothing is happening right now. It's just such a slow trickle in. Let's just go to the next battle. All right, boys, here we go. Exact same battle without the snipers in the back. I think that we are about to see the Germans get absolutely walloped by the Americans coming on forward here. Americans uh, starting off uh, fairly strong with a good force coming forward that can easily cross the first trench here. Uh, but then we saw further back, like these guys back here, they're going to get clustered up and have a, have a real hard time coming forward after a little bit. So, uh, you know, this, this first line is probably going to be the best chance for the Americans to win. And uh, let's check out the left side over here. So the left side moving on forward, firing away at uh, some of these Germans. I think I forgot to occupy this bunker here, and it wasn't occupied in the last battle. The next bunker is over here that is in fact occupied, uh, but this one over here, sadly not. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, either way, the Americans coming into this trench line defense over here and just splashing them with a whole lot of incoming machine gun fire and immediately destroying German after German after German uh, in quick succession. Germans, yeah, they're, they're, I'm sorry, but they're not going to win this. Like, seriously, the snipers were the saving grace of the last battle. That's why the Germans won the last battle. This battle, look at that. The machine gunners are already dead. Machine gunners are already gone, dude. Germans might have, you know, almost 4,000 kills right now, and the Americans only have 700, but that's not nearly enough of a good ratio for the Germans to actually get away with a victory here. I think what will be most interesting to see, though, is the Germans hiding out below in the trenches, firing upwards at the Americans coming at them. I think that will be a fairly cool moment uh, in all of this. Uh, it seems like the shotgunners are mainly the folks that are dying on the battlefield here for the Americans, and that makes sense because they have to get so much closer uh, to the German trench line back there to actually hit it at all. So uh, that's pretty neat to see, uh, you know, the Germans doing well by targeting those guys and preventing them from getting too close, but it does look like look like some shotgunners over here have gotten awfully close and are just absolutely decimating these Germans in this trench line right now. Woo! It is seriously, seriously rough out here. Very, very tough out here, for sure. All right, over here on the right side, we do have sort of the first of the actual German trench lines over here getting assaulted by the Americans. They're firing out at them uh, from across the way. Sadly, it is a straight shot into this trench, so the Americans can easily shoot into it. Um, that's why a lot of trenches during uh, World War I were in fact in a bit more of a zigzag formation to prevent anything like this from happening, uh, but it do be happening right here and right now. And then down the middle here, it looks like we actually have uh, the Germans uh, defending inside the trenches. We're going to start seeing the first of them having to fire upwards at the U.S., which is pretty cool to see uh, sort of soldiers coming up over the top and then the defenders being down below. It's a pretty neat little aspect right there. They're not getting a whole lot of kills. <laughs> Neither side is actually really uh, over here, actually. Look at this. whole lot of troopers coming up over the top uh, and firing downwards, and the troopers firing up don't seem to be getting really any hits troopers upwards don't seem to be getting hits on the troopers down like because of that massive earth mound right in front of them sort of preventing that um, from culminating in a lot of kills or anything like that we've also got troopers going into the trenches over this way uh, attempting a little bit of a charge uh, forward which is uh, not really going super well for those US soldiers but there we go now they're starting to, to get some kills on some of these Germans and the Germans are having more trouble let's go my American brothers very nice look at them Gunning down these Germans. VEA beautiful. Right now, the Germans uh, actually really only have um, 42,000 ish kills. A, a far line from what they had before with the snipers. Shows the power of the snipers. And the Americans have 21,000 kills, so uh, Germans not even managing double right now. <laughs> not even quite there yet. Just a few hundred more, and they'd have double, but uh, not quite there. 
Uh, either way, let's go ahead and let this ride out. It's basically just the Americans killing the last few Germans. We'll do a little time lapse of it. And there we have it. The U.S. soldiers do end up winning this battle and the Germans fail. Either way, guys, that's going to be the end of the video today. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.